What's up, good people, aka winners? That's what we do, ay, that's all we do, ay, 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 I'm coming to you with another video. Coming to you with another video. Pick it, pick it. I feel like my focus is better and I feel like my lighting is better, but guess what, girl? I am gonna put on my primer while we talk. That will give you an opportunity to go ahead and subscribe to my channel um, by smashing that subscribe button. Click that link tree, follow me on all of my social media platforms. Don't even pay attention to this right here though, okay? Cause I have to get hang time the best way I can, so I clip it down. Now, last week I did a video on the Patrick Star one size collection. I had the um, the beauty, what is it called? The, B, blah, 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 the BBB cream, the beauty blur bomb. But like, you know, the, it, I don't wanna say it was a fail, but I wanna say that they fumbled the bag. But I can understand why, and I'm gonna explain that to you too. I did get a shade that matches me better. I don't know if it's perfect or no, or no because I haven't really tried it other than me swatching it. Last week, I also did the one size concealer and I used it in place of my um, Butterscotch Concealer by Too Faced. Make this video a lot more fun, I'm actually gonna do a comparison as well. Oh, and I had to get the powder. So I did go ahead and give them the Dark 3 back because just after, it was just way bronzy and the undertone was different and when I realized how off it was, I was I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and return that. I'm gonna return both of them. So I got the one size, I got the dark two neutral, and then in the BBB cream, I actually got the dark one neutral. Now, what happened was there are like a couple of dark ones from my understanding. There is a medium dark, dark one, and then there is a dark, dark one. And yo, that was confusing because even the rep got confused because she gave me the wrong one. Not only are we going to try the correct shades and give you an update, we're also going to compare it to my Too Faced and the other concealer, which means I will more than likely come back at the end of the day just to see how they both, you know, hold up because this Too Faced Born This Way concealer is like my holy grail. Um, when I first tried it, it wasn't it was a little too drying, but then I figured out how to work with the girl. And so now it's like my fave. And so I want to compare this to it because Patrick Starr ain't no joke either. Like I was actually pleased with um, his products other than, you know, the color not matching right. So we're going to do some correcting and I'm just going to kind of zoom by with this because y'all know it's not a makeup look if I don't correct. And I've had some hyperpigmentation and a couple of breakouts. Anyway, I'll be right back when it's all done. All right. Okay. So I have not watched Patrick Starr's videos on how to apply um, this makeup or anything like that. Matter of fact, I probably should, I don't even know. We probably should read about it, huh? It does say be the ultimate blur boss with buttery, bouncy, smooth skin. Nah, 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 nah. Texture be gone. You know what? We don't even need to go read about it. That's enough. But I do believe it's $33. But I told you guys in the last video that, don't, okay. We cannot have an accident. But I told y'all in the last video, I love the packaging. I love that bright red cap right there. And I like that it's in a tube. And I like that you can stand it up and always have your product going to the bottom. It allows you to use a lot of it, right? That is what it looks like, baby. There's really no movement. It's not really liquefied. It's more like a cream, if you will. I probably put too much, but... <laughs> I'm generous with foundation, so it's okay. Now, this is uh, marketed as a beauty balm, but from what I'm seeing, it's, it's, it does make up like a boss. So like it says on the package, so let's go. I put a lot, that's a lot, that's a lot, that's a lot, a lot comes out. All right, so, ooh, much better. <laughs> Woo! Look at that, that literally looks like my face. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I probably, shoot. Beauty bomb looking like, ooh, okay. I'ma tell you, Patrick Starr, he came through though, cause that concealer, we don't even need to like let it sit like I usually do with concealer. I let it sit and kind of like dry down a little bit so that it holds better, if you will. And I don't have to do that with his. I felt like doing that like made it get too, like I almost couldn't move it and you don't have to do that. So that let me know that first of all, it's gonna stay in place. And second of all, I don't need to do the waiting game. So I don't know if, if it's best with like a brush or a sponge or 
what, but I am using a sponge because that's what I use for everything. But just know that whenever you use a beauty sponge, it does shear it out a little bit more than a brush would. She's smooth, she's smooth. She's smooth, she's smooth, she's smooth. Okay, Patrick, come on Sephora. You are redeeming yourself, honey. Oh, and this eye look, I actually did a, um, I did a mini tutorial on Instagram. And so that's what I've been doing lately. I'm going to um, attempt to put them on this YouTube channel as shorts, but I gotta find out more about shorts. Like I don't want it to sit on there as a video. I wanna have a playlist for shorts. So I'll do that. But until I figure that out, you guys are more than welcome to come to my Instagram. So, and then somebody commented on my last video and said they never let the people at um, the counters match them. It wasn't that she matched me. We did it together. I, I definitely don't do that blindly. It's just that she grabbed the wrong one because there's more than one dark one. It's different. It's different undertones or not, not undertones. It's different categories, right? So if you have dark skin, it's like a dark one for that. If you have medium dark, it's a dark one for that. I don't know about the fair cause I didn't look at it, but that's why she messed up. So, you know, it was an honest mistake. I ain't mad at you. Uh, come on, Patrick. You, okay. I'm proud of you. Now, I mean, I felt like you did it in the last video. Now I know without a doubt you did that. It looks good. And it, it applied really good last time. You know, it applied great. I just couldn't really do like a wear test and see how like it actually looked on my skin. So we'll also do that when I, and I keep looking at my monitor, apologies. But when we come back and I show you the concealer, we'll also kind of talk about the foundation because now I'm actually really using it. Okay, so this is how I matched the um, one size. I basically took the uh, Born This Way, the Too Faced Born This Way in Butterscotch and I grabbed that at Sephora and then I matched it up to this just by looking at the bottle. And so that's how I came up with my color. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Too Faced, but we're gonna let the Too Faced sit because that's what I do normally. So this is the Too Faced and this is the um, Butterscotch color. And then now I am going to take the one size and we're just gonna place it on. And I want y'all to tell me honestly which one you like better or if you can even tell the difference. I'm gonna do the one size right here and right here. But baby, let's go all the way out like that, just like I do with the Too Faced. So they look the same as, except though, let me see. Cause this is my Too Faced side, this is Patrick's side. It looks like I put a lot, but I promise I thought I put like the same amount. But anyway, this one seems a little more creamier and thicker. But again, I don't need to hold it. Let me just get my powder ready. Oh Lord, cause I forgot. I don't need to like let that sit at all. Like at all, I should have got this ready. Because I use two different powders. I use the Graftobian and I use the Sasha Buttercup. And I talked about that in a different video where I talk about setting powders and why I don't bake. So check that out. I'll probably link it in this video. But what we're gonna do, we gotta blend Patrick out. We gotta blend him out. Cause he, he can't hold it too long, okay? <laughs> So this is Patrick's side. I'm so impressed with this concealer though. I will tell y'all that. It makes me feel beat before I even finish. Look how, look how buttery that is. Look how that, oof. he did that though. Now I'm gonna flip this over so that I'm not mixing the two and then we're gonna um, blend out the Too Faced. And y'all tell me if you notice a difference and if you do, which one's, which side do you like best? So I'm gonna flip this sponge back over so I can set it because I don't want to mix anything up. And now I'm gonna do this side. Let's get that powder, girl. I love makeup. How many out there love makeup like I do? It's just, it's it's so fun playing the makeup. So now we have the one size powder. This is the Turn Up The Base, all right? And it's versatile foundation powder. But I'm sure that you can rock this without liquid or without his beauty balm if you so choose, but I don't so choose, so. Well, this is what we're doing, okay? This is, it's happening. And I'm gonna show you guys this one next to my Fenty because now that I have the dark, the dark too. That it's a little bit closer, but still Fenty has a little more yellow to it, right? But I rock this foundation with my, um, with my just concealer on Sunday at church and I was happy with it. So this one, you see, it's not really like a, that last one was giving, making me all kind of bronzy. This one is not doing that. So those people that be like, oh, just do, just do my eyes. I don't want foundation. Listen, when you get the whole look together, it makes them eyes pop. I really can't tell. I just have to remember that this side is the Too Faced side because looking in my mirror, I cannot tell which is which. So that is what the powder's looking like. Now, um, you see, I probably could have done a little more corrector right there by those bumps. You see what I'm saying? 
Cause that's, this is, this is the reason why I, cause I had a little breakout right here. This is the reason now y'all don't do this at home, but I'm about to do it right here. This is the reason why I like to correct. See y'all. Uh, and I'm glad we're doing this so I can give y'all this example. If you can see how it has that dark shadowy look under my makeup, no bueno. So I am gonna, even though I did powder and everything, I'm gonna correct that. And I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer on that cause that's not it. That's what I do not like. Last time, I don't even think I did like my contour on screen or whatever, but this is the Juvia's Place contour. And you guys, I don't have to do a lot cause my cheeks are already kinda out there. And then I'm gonna show you um, a new highlighter, but Ofra released a new um, highlighter and it's called Gingerbread. I believe it's called Gingerbread. And I'm, th well, this is my Beverly Hills. Where's Gingerbread? <gasps> Where's the gingerbread man? It looks like this. I have a whole one too, but it looks like this one right here that I'm messing with. And so for my chocolate sisters out there, that'll be great for you too. But I'm gonna mix it with Beverly Hills today actually. So let's go with this Dahlia. I think that this has been discontinued by um, Becca. Cause I heard that Becca was purchased by someone else. Uh, if it's a lie, I didn't tell it, but I'm gonna start off with Beverly Hills a little bit. I feel like I could just build, 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 and then like it's it's never enough. I'm gonna take this gingerbread. I think it's called gingerbread or gingerbread man or something. I gotta look. And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put it right here. But I'm not gonna use the Patrick Star spray because it I, I feel like it's kinda it's really mattifying. And I kinda like to use my Morphe to where it just brings everything together and it makes it like mesh together. I'm gonna show you guys like what I mean by this Morphe. And if y'all didn't know that I loved it, I bought like two more. These are two more and then I already had two up here. Like I wasn't playing. I was in the store so I was like, let me get it. So let me show you. See, it's continuous and it just brings it all together. It doesn't make it like overly dewy or luminous, but it just kind of meshes together. It's kind of like Mac Fix Plus, but it's not as wet. And I love the fact that it has a continuous spray. So anyway, I'm gonna do the hair, do the lippy, and then I'll come back and show you guys the final look. But Patrick Star, killed it. I introduced to you. <laughs> this is the final look and I am just except for these little thingies right there, but that's the final look. And I always do this whenever I do my foundation or makeup because there's just never one that fits me like the exact way it should. Cause yeah, and my neck and my face are a different color. Look, I'm telling y'all, it just definitely came together and I probably need to get like a little picture like that. You know what I mean? That's great. But it's it's given what it needs to give and it was something I said I was gonna tell you guys. Oh, I'm gonna come and do um, a, a, a video later. Just a really, really quick video, probably on my phone. And I'll show you guys like how um, it stood the test of time, if you will. I think it's like about one o'clock now. I'll probably come like eight or 9 p.m. tonight. We could see which concealer like work best. Cause really at this moment in time, I can't tell the difference. Like I, I can't tell the difference. I don't know if you guys can. And I will see you guys not so than you think but i will see you soon okay but just stay tuned because we're gonna do like the end of it and i'll show you how it like stood up okay love you mean it bye what's up family oh my lights are really close it's really bright but anyway this is the follow-up and i did have to put on a mask let me come back there you go i did have to put on a mask because i had to go get something to eat but it that let me tell you what happened so i did use the bbb cream the beauty bomb blur you know triple b um and then i set it with the powder right and so i was blotting because i was doing something that involved me being under lights and i actually blotted and it was not a lot like not a lot came off on the paper towel so that was cool and then I still can't tell the difference of the Dagon concealer. I know that this is the Too Faced and I know that that's Patrick Star, but I mean, could you tell a difference? And this is not bad for like, it's almost like 10 o'clock PM. And I think when I came to you guys, it was like one. And so um, I blotted just a little bit cause I was on film and you know, just a very, very little bit. And I wore a mask. So even with me putting on the mask to go get some food, like, I'm mad. I am not mad. So this is it. And look at, I still slay girl. But anyway, I'm happy with the product. I will definitely be keeping it and I will definitely be wearing it again. So deuces. Key, key. You know what?
what I mean A woman feels good when she's looking pretty I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or a Range Rover Just give your girl a bomb, see key beauty makeover